What's up, everybody? It's another awesome day to be living in the Villages, Florida. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having an awesome, awesome week so far. And also, hope you're getting ready for an awesome St. Patty's Day weekend. Welcome back to the Villages Experience. Today is Wednesday, March the 13th, 2024. My name's Michael and my awesome wife, Tiffany. Well, guess what? She's home this Wednesday. She's been traveling the last couple of weeks for business. It is a work day, so she's back in the office working. She's got a lot of online presentations that she's doing today, but she's gonna stop by on her lunch break to share with us what she was up to last week and also some of the awesome things that will be upcoming here in the villages really, really soon. So there's always something awesome going on every single weekend in the villages, but being that this weekend is St. Patrick's Day, there's gonna be some extra shenanigans on tap. So I've got today's arts extra section and the lifestyle section. We will be going through that here in just a few minutes and sharing with you all the different festivities that actually starts tomorrow on Thursday. But first I wanna kinda of show you my brand new hats. Yes, I love my hats. So I had to order me some new hats for St. Patrick's Day. We are Irish American, so I'll probably wear these year round. But what do you think and which hat do you think I'm gonna wear on St. Patrick's Day? Is it gonna be hat number one right here? Or will it be more the traditional hat that I wear? And this right here, by the way, is my favorite brand of hats. So if you've never tried this brand before, it's called Legacy 92. That's pretty much all the hats that I wear all the time. So yeah, which one do you think I'm gonna wear? The Legacy hat or the white hat. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll try on each of the different hats and then you can vote or guess which hat you think I'm gonna wear actually on St. Patrick's Day. I'm gonna keep both hats and definitely will be wearing both throughout the week, but which hat do you think I'm gonna wear this Sunday? So when I started this segment just four weeks ago called What's Up Wednesday, there were three main goals I was hoping to accomplish. Uh, one was just to kind of share with you in real time some of the experiences that we did in the previous week because we still work full time, we work from home and we travel and we try to get out and do something new and unique every single week. And sometimes those uh, events that we go to are worthy of a full length video, but other times they're not. Uh, sometimes it's just something fun that we did just for a couple of minutes. Sometimes, unfortunately, I have some technical issues, like if it's a really, really windy day. And it was a really, really windy weekend this past weekend. And I did go out both Saturday and Sunday and shot a bunch of video, including the barbecue bash up in uh, Spanish Springs. <laughs> But unfortunately, most of that audio was just so bad that I can't use a lot of that video. But I will share with you here in just a few minutes about that experience. It was a lot of fun. Um, the other big main reason, though, that I started this new segment was because we really want to hear from you. Uh, you're the whole reason why we make these videos. And the only way that we know that you're there is if you say hello in the comments below. And so many of you are awesome that you leave a comment every single video. We truly, truly appreciate that. Don't expect you to do that, but it is fun. A lot of you, when you meet us for the first time out and about in the villages, you say you feel like you know us already from our videos. Well, that's the way we get to know you. The more comments you leave, the more that we feel that we know you. So uh, just really wanna encourage anybody that watches our videos, uh, especially those who have never ever left a comment below, just start by saying hello, where you're from, and uh, let us know what you got going on. You got some big plans for this weekend, or do you have nothing going on this weekend? Are you coming down for a lifestyle visit here to the Villages really soon? Did you just recently close on a home and move to the Villages? Or are you getting ready to close on a home and become Villagers? A lot of you have shared that experience in the comments with us, so that's really, really exciting. So let us know so that we can just uh, get to know you better and also celebrate those big, big life moments. So I think actually just thought about this right now. I'm going to put an email link in the description below. And what we'd also love to start seeing you do is send us some photos, send us some quick little videos, five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 second videos, 
make sure they're in landscape, not up and down, make sure they're in landscape mode and uh, send them to us. Just say hello through your pictures and your videos. If you have a closing day experience, we'd love to be able to share that on our channel with everybody else. So look for that email link in the description below. The third reason why I decided to start this up on Wednesdays is because that's the day of the week in the Daily Sun. They put the arts extra section in the paper and it's just jam packed full of all the activities that are coming up for the rest of this week. Everything's gonna be happening this weekend. And then they also have the big center section that shows you all the different paid entertainment that's going on for the next month. So if I put this out on Wednesday, hopefully it's a good reminder to everybody that's currently living in the villages. Hey, here's some of the exciting stuff that's going on this weekend that you may not wanna miss. It also lets folks know that are coming down for a lifestyle visit. Hey, here's some of the things that you can look forward to, not only this weekend, but over the next month or so. And then just to kind of share with everybody out there in the entire world that may be watching our videos, just all the different types of activities and the variety of entertainment and events that the Villages has to offer. Uh, it doesn't matter what type of music genre that you like, what type of entertainment that you like, there's definitely something always going on at the, at the Villages. They seem to have some type of big festival every single weekend. And being that it is St. Patrick's Day weekend, yes, the shenanigans begin tomorrow. So I'll flip the camera around here in just a second and I will go through that entire section and show you everything that's going on, especially everything that has to do with St. Patrick's Day. So Tiffany will be here in just a few minutes to share with you where she went and what she did this past week. And it was a lot of fun, uh, but I was on my own. So what type of shenanigans did I get myself into? Well, number one, last Saturday was the barbecue bash up in Spanish Springs. We're good, how are y'all doing? Heck yeah. You got first place last year? Yes, sir. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I got hot, I got sweet heat. I got original, I got sweet. Let's do the sweet heat. Sweet heat. Awesome. Thank you so much. Nice. Thank you. Yes, please. That looks awesome. I wasn't going to go to it at first, but you know, I was all by myself. I was hungry and it was only eight bucks for all you can eat and all you can sample barbecue. We have some pulled pork, it's all the same. You can sauce it up with some sweet beaneries if you like. Nice. You can take two or three, however many you can find. All right. So I think the wind may have actually affected the, uh, the crowd levels. I was expecting it to be a lot busier than what it was. When I got there, didn't have any problems finding a place to park. I got there a little bit after one o'clock. The event was from noon until three. And by the time I got my wristband and walked around once videotaping it. God save her please. She's nailed her knees to the drugstore parking lot. Mr. Brown, turn the volume down. I believe this evening shot. Well, don't you know her? When you see her, she grew up in your backyard. Come back to us tomorrow. Long time. sampling all the barbecue. 
got my wristband. Now it's time to get in one of these lines and get us some barbecue. And the lines are pretty darn long. So I think we're gonna walk around and see if we can find a little bit shorter line here. We're gonna skip this one. Get the best right here. Chicken, the best. All right, thank you so much. vinegar based I'm sorry it's all vinegar based the um, mustard sauce is uh, mustard vinegar -based. awesome awesome yeah. Yeah, a little different. yeah a little different all right different. yeah we got smoked brisket here we have uh, smoked pork down here okay awesome thank you thank you y'all enjoy had a great time and got some good barbecue met a lot of awesome folks a lot of people recognize me said hello <laughs> So hello and thank you to everybody that I've met on that day. Uh, so yeah, I got plenty of barbecue, was totally full, didn't even have to eat dinner that night. And so I came back home and the next day was Sunday and it was a beautiful day, but it was still pretty windy as well. So I decided, you know what, let's go check out some open houses. So the Villages has open houses every single day of the year. Uh, this house is open until 11.30 a.m. They just opened up two brand new patio villas over there in the Moultrie Creek, the Eastport area. And I posted that video earlier this week. So if you'd like to see uh, some of the open houses and home tours, go check out that video. And the other big thing that you may have noticed from last week and this week's video is that we had some new furniture and artwork delivered. This is some of the stuff that I bought on the President's Day sale. So we got a lot of artwork that I have not hung on the walls yet because I don't wanna put nail holes in the wall until we're absolutely sure that's the artwork that we like and that's where we want that piece to be. So all throughout our house, we've got the artwork just kind of propped up against the wall. So as soon as we get everything fully decorated, we will do another home tour. We'll share with you exactly what we bought, where we bought it from, how much we spent on it. And then we will also share with you some of our uh, organization uh, tips that we did, especially our laundry room, because we, uh, we, we did something really cool and really unique in there that I think is unique anyway. So uh, stay tuned and as soon as we get everything fully decorated, we'll give you another home tour and we'll show you our laundry room and then also our closet organization. All right, let me move these hats so I can show you the arts extra section. Wait, I think I hear Tiffany. And look who's here today. That's right, Tiffany's been gone the last three Wednesdays traveling for work. We do work from home and she's been really busy on meetings all morning, right? Yes. But she's on a quick lunch break, so I have her for about 10 or 15 minutes to shoot this segment of the video. <laughs> so uh, why don't you tell everybody what's been going on with you this past week and also what's coming up in our future? All right, so I do travel a lot for work and sometimes they're not so glamorous locations. Um, but last week I got the awesome opportunity to go to New York, Yay. Um, Brooklyn and Manhattan. And since I was up there, um, our son decided to ride the train and meet me up there. Um, so we jam packed as much as we could in 24 hours. We got to go to opening night on Broadway of Tommy. 
which that was the first Broadway musical that we saw over 30 years ago together, right? That's right. So he was a little jealous, <laughs> but um, had dinner at Carmine's in Times Square, one of our family traditions, um, stayed up all night talking, just had a really good time. So sometimes it's great when work and life can meet up like that um, and just had a really great time. So even though I had to be gone, at least I got to see Nolan. And it was fun for me because I could track their dots and see, because we all have the iPhone and, and find your friends, find your family. So it's really neat for me to watch them as they were moving around Manhattan from Broadway and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm glad, glad they, you also had really good weather too, right? Oh my gosh, we could not have had more perfect weather. It was not too cold. It was not hot. It was not raining. It was not snowing. It was absolutely perfect. And the very next day and the next night though, it it, we had that, those storms that came all through oh. the East Coast, so New York got drenched the day after you left. So. Coming home, the plane ride was not fun. <laughs> it was some of the worst turbulence I've ever experienced in a plane. <laughs> Next big thing that we're looking forward to, of course, is St. Patty's Day this weekend. So more on that and all the festivities at the villages, which begin actually tomorrow in just a second. But what else are we looking forward to here the next couple of weeks? So we've been preparing for something um, that is coming up, and that is the next running of the squares at Spanish Springs, and that is March 30th. So that's the 5K. If you haven't seen that video, go back and take a look at our first 5K in over 20 years. Um, but we've been keeping up the practice because we have some goals. Um, but one of our biggest things is we really encouraged you to get up and join us. Yep. And so we did form a team for the running of the squares, um, Team TVE. That's right. Very easy to find. <laughs> very easy to find. Um, but very excited. Please come out and join us. Um, we'll meet up that morning and then everybody can walk at their own pace. Um, however you, however you, if you want to run, you go ahead. We will cheer you on from behind you. Um, if you want to walk, we can walk. And if you walk slower than we do, that's good too. Um, so we just want to encourage everybody to just get up and be active and just have fun and fellowship in the community. So we're not sure exactly where we're going to be meeting up at Spanish Springs because it's going to be busy. It's going to be packed, but I will put some more information down in the description below. I'll put links to the registration page. I'll put links to our team page. And as we get closer, if we figure out where we're gonna meet up at, I'll put that info down there as well too. So it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you walk or run this 5K. We just wanna encourage everybody to get up, get active and have fun. And hint, hint, we're probably gonna do it in about an hour, right? Yeah. Our goal is to beat an hour. We did it in an hour and one minute last time. So uh, we'll probably walk slowly during certain portions of the, of the race, and then we'll walk really, really fast during other portions of the race. So come on down, have some fun with us. And if you're really, really fast, well, join our team because they are giving away uh, team awards. That's right. We need three ringers. <laughs> so sign up. All the information is below and just get out and have some fun. And we communicate a lot through Facebook. So if you've not followed our Facebook page yet, make sure you go over and do that. It's the Villages Experience, Michael and Tiffany, easy yep. to remember. So find that and make sure you follow. Um, we love to go live from our Facebook too. So you might see that. We try to stay a little bit more up to date on our Facebook page. So make sure you follow there so you get all the most recent information. So if you haven't signed up yet, just sign up. Join us out there to have fun. Let's see if we can get like 100 people on Team TVE to be out there running around Spanish Springs. That would be awesome. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yep. Um, okay, my lunch hour is almost <laughs> over, so I really need to go. But I will see you at Running of the Squares. All right, so now let's talk about what's going on in the villages all weekend long for St. Patty's Day. So you can see today is Wednesday, March the 13th, 2024. Today's going to be a high of about 80 degrees, and we're supposed to have awesome weather all weekend long. Uh, the high is going to be in the low to mid 80s. No rain in the forecast whatsoever. So the big event, of course, is the Spanish Spring St. Patrick's Day Festival from 3 to 9 this Sunday at Spanish Springs Town Square. It's totally free. It's going to be an all-day event there. They'll have uh, lots of live entertainment. Of course, you got the golf cart parade. Uh, some great bands will be playing there. And there's going to be a separate St. Patrick's Day bash at Sawgrass Grove from noon until 9. So if you need more information on either one of these, you can get that at thevillagesentertainment.com. And you can see here is a photo from last 
year's St. Patrick's Day Parade. So definitely looking forward to that. And then just here's some of the other things that are highlighting for the week. We'll get to the center section here in just a second and talk about all the paid entertainment, but also want to point out the daily lifestyle section. This comes in the paper every single day. The Arts Extra only comes on Wednesday, but they are highlighting right here tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day Festival begins over at Lake Sumter Landing. It's a two-day event, four to nine on March 14th and the 15th. Wear your green, come out and celebrate. Again, lots of great entertainment and lots of great live music. And then here's just some of the other things that they are highlighting that will be happening all around the villages later this week. And then something else cool to kind of point out too. If you really want to get in that villages vibe, you can listen to the villages radio station right there. Or if you go to their website or download the app, you can listen to the villages radio station anywhere in the world. So the lifestyle section is included every single day in the Daily Sun. And then every Wednesday we have the Arts Extra. And so not only the stuff on the front page, but if we open up, you'll see they highlight some of the other awesome paid events that are going on around the villages. We've got the Irish Comedy Tour, March the 23rd right there. And then if we get to the center section, there you go. Let's back it up here so you can get a wide angle view of this. And again, you can pause the video and, and take a look at it, but we'll scan from the top left all the way down. And again, you can see what's on tap next and how much each of the tickets costs. There's stuff there for as little as $15, $30, $45. I think last week with the Beach Boys, that's the most expensive ticket I've seen so far at $75. You got the Guess Who coming. Tickets for that are only $40 and $45, depending on which day and time you go. We got the Land Sharks coming. We got the Elvis Forever. Just so much fun stuff. And again, you can find out more about this at thevillagesentertainment.com. And then on this side, we've got Hooray for Hollywood. We got Smokin', the ultimate tribute to Boston. We got the, uh, the Arena Rock tribute, classic Nashville Live, Rocky and the Rollers Unplugged. That'll be a lot of fun. But if you don't want to pay to go see Rocky and the Rollers, you can go see them again for free, usually at Spanish Springs Town Square. But on April the 13th from 5 till 9 p.m., it's Rock in the Square 25th anniversary party, of course, with Rocky and the Rollers. So that will be a lot of fun. Food vendors, photo booth, giveaways, and surprise special guests at Brownwood Paddock Square. That will be a lot of fun. We have the Acoustic Series March 25th to the 29th. And then this is the big thing that we're all going to be celebrating here in the Villages starting tomorrow, the 2024 St. Patrick's Day Festival. It goes on tomorrow, Thursday the 14th and Friday the 15th at Lake Sumter Landing, Market Square, 4 to 9 p.m. Nothing going on Saturday the 16th officially, uh, but on the 17th we do have Sawgrass Grove from noon to 9. And then at Spanish Springs Town Square we have the parade at 3 p.m., and then all the fun and shenanigans and all the festivities and the live music from four until nine o'clock. All right, so it's almost time for me to try on the hats, hat number one and hat number two, and then you can vote in the comments below, which is your favorite hat and which hat do you think I will wear actually on Sunday for St. Patrick's Day. But before we try on the hats, just wanna stop and say, Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that watches our videos. Thank you to everybody that smashes that thumbs up button and leaves us a comment. Thanks for being part of this journey. Thanks for being part of our experience. It makes it fun and worthwhile. So we're almost at 6,000 subscribers. That's pretty awesome. So if you haven't done so by now, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. And then do us a huge, huge favor by sharing our channel and our videos with other awesome people that might be interested in the villages or just looking for fun, positive content. All right, so. I should do a drum roll. I don't have a drum roll. Y'all ready to try these hats out? We got hat number one, which is kind of that Live Lucky brand. I've never wore this type of hat before. Hat number two, before we try them on, this is called Legacy 92. And I've been wearing these hats for years. I love them. I love the, uh, the breathable mesh part back here. I love that it's kind of uh, soft and floppy and kind of forms to my head and everything. And so, yeah, this is my ab absolute favorite hat brand. So uh, let's try out hat number one and see what you think.
and hopefully it's gonna fit. Here goes nothing. Ta-da! What do you think? So there you go, hat number one, the Live Lucky brand. I kinda like it. It's kinda different for me. I've never wore a hat like this in a long, long time, so we'll see. Might take some getting used to. All right, so here we go. Hat number two, the Legacy 92 brand. And let's see. Ah, uh, there we go. That feels a little bit more like me. Feels a little bit more like Michael. Tiffany told me she thought that looks a little bit like Notre Dame, but uh, we are Irish American. So I have a feeling I'll be wearing this hat a lot throughout the year. So if you haven't done so by now, vote in the comments below. Hat number one, the Live Lucky brand, or hat number two, the Legacy 92 brand. Hope you have an awesome week. Hope you have an awesome weekend. And if you see us out and about around the villages, especially this weekend for St. Patrick's Day, say hello. And if not, we will see you in the next video.